I rise today and ask that we adjourn in the memory of the 49 people who were massacred on Saturday night at Pulse Orlando and to keep those still struggling for their lives in our prayers. We adjourn in their memories and our thoughts are with the families, friends, and community who are left behind to grieve and try to make sense of this senseless tragedy. They were mostly all young men, they were mostly all Latino, and they were out celebrating who they were dancing and enjoying themselves in a nightclub where they felt safe. Bars have long been a gathering place for the LGBT community, the place where we could be totally free and open. The Stonewall Bars, you might recall, where the LGBT movement was born. When you're not welcome in your church or in your community or in your home or in your workplace, it's invaluable to find places where you can just be who you are. Bars and nightclubs have provided that refuge and generally understood even though sometimes they're in rough neighborhoods, if you could make it to the bar okay inside, you would be safe from harassment. And that this happened during Pride Month. When we think of even the word pride, what does that mean? To be proud means you refuse to be ashamed. You refuse to deny who you are. It's not enough to have people tolerate you, but to be proud about who you are, to be able to walk in freedom. Political dialogue and pushback to the LGBT visibility and expanded rights, things like marriage equality, equal protections, laws about non-discriminations, which we still don't have in 32 states in this country, help fuel the fire of anger, distrust, and hatreds for those individuals who are most vulnerable to become violent. Every parent who has had a child come out to them, their first thought always is, Will they be safe? All parents have told all of us, I want you to be safe. I fear for your safety. What will people do? What will people think? People will be mean to you. You shouldn't have to be brave to be who you are. You shouldn't have to be brave to publicly love who you love. People might say, why do you have to be so public? Why do you have to go out? Why do we have to have pride? The question should be, why do we have to hide? Why do we have to hide from silent judgment? Why do we have to hide from bullying? And why do we have to duck and cover from assault weapons? People know I served in the military. I got a message over the weekend from someone I served with 35 years ago. 35 years ago when I was a young 19, 20 year old. And I haven't talked to him in forever, but through Facebook he contacted me and he said, I want you to watch out and be safe. Notice your surroundings like you used to when you were younger. And I just replied, I never stopped. Members, I ask that we hold the pictures of those young men's and women's faces in our minds and in our hearts. I ask that we embrace the photos of their weeping parents, the community at risk, and as we adjourn in their memory, that we recommit to filling our hearts with love, with acceptance, with embracing our diversity that is at the very core of the freedom that we all hold so dear.